Good morning and welcome to Church for Kids Lessons for Living Daily Devotional, a time for you and your family to come together to hear in a brief devotional, have an activity and a prayer time together. My name is Kelly Jackson Brooks and I'm the Executive Pastor with Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today we are outside. It's been raining and I love the rain. New life is kind of everywhere. Plants are being watered with this wonderful thing we call rain and so they just look different to me so I like being outside in this so I hope all of you have found a fun place to join me today as well. I also wanted to say and to remind all of you that this will be our last week for our daily devotionals. This is actually week 19. We've been doing this hard to believe but I will still be doing a weekly devotional and that will start on Sundays and you can still find that on Facebook or on YouTube or on the website of the church, which is Central United Methodist Church, and the website is centraltolife.org. Before I start with our new book and telling you about our new devotional book, I wanted to say congratulations to Jesus and Gabby. On Saturday evening, I was able to be part of a wonderful wedding for these two amazing people. Jesus is actually the one that puts this video up in all the various places it goes every day for me. So he is a special person and his wife is very special as well. So congratulations to the both of you. So for today, we are starting a new devotional book. And I'm not going to be reading from it quite yet. We'll start tomorrow, but I wanted to introduce the book to you. It's a book of Bible stories by Tommy DePaula. I have several of these books by Tommy DePaula, a lot of children's Bible books and children's Bible stories just presented in different ways. I've always loved the illustrations and the way the stories are told. So I decided we will go into this book for, for Church for Kids and I read a little bit about Tommy DePaula and I wanted to share that with you today. I think it's important when we're reading about an author, we just really are drawn to something about a person to learn more about that person. Well, Tommy DePaula, it turns out, recently passed away in March of this year at the age of 85. Tommy DePaula wrote over 260 children's books won numerous awards for his illustrations and the way he writes. And I just really hope you enjoy this story and these books as well. So I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. For our activity today, it gives us a little reflection on what we've been doing and where we're going from here. It's before and after. Now this will be the last week that we'll be going through this Ink About It book. We'll be finishing just in time on Friday with the different activities from here. You will find this also attached to today's posting. And it's the good and the bad. And it's about really looking at your life and what is the silver lining in things that have happened. So as we reflect back on the past 19, it's actually been 20 weeks since this quarantine, all this has started here. Look back and see what has been really meaningful for you. There's been some bad things, I'm sure, some things that have changed, changed and shifted in your life. But think about what has happened that's been good. What is the silver lining? I know for me, it's been spending this time with all of you every day. All the wonderful emails that you send, the messages, the notes, and the really sweet little presents that I find. Uh, during the week at the church that some of you send to me that is very special to me. So those are some of the silver linings and the readjusting for me uh, is not necessarily great, but it's something kind of make the best of that as well. So think about those things today. Look for this, the good and the bad attached to our post today. And we will start tomorrow with our new book, the book of Bible stories by Tommy DePaul. Let us pray. Creator God, for always presenting new things in our life, new life that comes up around us because of this amazing rain, uh, the good, the bad that comes with adjustment and change, however that comes into our lives, we are grateful. We thank you this day and let our eyes continue to be open to all that is presented to us. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we'll see you tomorrow.